Assalamu alaikum. This podcast has been brought to you by Seekers Guidance, the global Islamic seminary. Help us spread the light of prophetic guidance to millions around the world by becoming a monthly supporter. Make a small donation at seekersguidance.org slash donate. As little as $10 a month can help people find life-changing guidance. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah um, Where does belief come from? Is it a conscious decision to believe in God, prophets and messages? Do you test it and believe in stages or how do you get certitude? That, that's a multi, yeah. multi-part question. Right? There's, but where does belief come from? Everything comes from Allah. Right? Wallahu khalaqakum wa ma ta'amun. Allah has created you and all that you do. Allahu khaliqu kulli shay. Allah is the creator of everything. But at the same time, we are, though, de- though dependent beings, we are dependent, needy, but responsible beings. Allah Most High has created within us that subtlety of choice. Right? So faith falls within that which is within the you know, human capacity to choose. Right? So faith, everything is from Allah. Right? But at the same time, faith is a, to believe or not to believe is a choice that the human being makes. Right? It's a choice that the human being makes. And faith itself, the th- theologians mention, is a ma'na basit wa laysa murakkaban. Faith is one action. It's not ma- faith is a singular reality. It is not made up of parts. Okay? Faith, it, you know, there's a realization that this is true, which is called ma'rifa, and you realize that this is true, that God exists, the, the Prophet is true, what he has come with is, is, is from God. That's called ma'rifa. To know the truth. Faith is that second, is the step after knowing the truth. Which is, they say, Hadith al-Nafs at lil ma'rifah. It is when you say to yourself, after knowing the truth, I accept it. Oh, of course, you don't have to say within yourself, I accept it, but when you do, that is faith. Because someone may know it's true, but they may not accept it. You know, I was in a state of soccer kufr for a while. Being a lifelong Real Madrid fan, I knew for many years that, Real, that Barcelona had the better team. But I'm not going to accept it. You know, I had ma'rifah of that. I knew it's true, but I wouldn't accept it. So faith is that, iman is that tasdiq. It is that acceptance. You're confirming it as true after knowing it is true. So it is a singular act. Right? You either believe or you don't believe. Then, of course, the strength of belief is a separate reality. Right? And the more you nurture the meanings of faith, you know, the more your faith increases right? in the degrees of certitude. Right? Because we are not called to have mere faith, but to have real faith, and then have realized faith. Right? And the scholars talk about the many degrees of faith. And we try to cover those in, we have a number of on-demand um, courses on seekers that cover why we believe and you know, that, that are you know, related to faith itself. And then we have a number of courses on um, Islamic beliefs and also on the subtlety within us that makes us human, which is the heart. And there's a wonderful course with Sheikh Yahya called where he very capably explains um, Imam al-Ghazali's work on the marvels of the heart. Right? Because as Imam al-Shafri said, Anta bil-ruhi la bil-jismi insanu. You are by your soul, not by your mere body, human. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he... ...knowledge to millions around the world by becoming a monthly supporter. Visit seekersguidance.org slash donate and make a small monthly commitment today. Our beloved Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, whoever guides someone to goodness will have a similar reward. So don't forget to share this podcast and spread prophetic guidance.